Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to the Misogyny Daily. Yes, come over here and get your daily dose of misogyny. In this one, we are going over content from the finest game show, where they're doing a pop the balloon challenge. And as you can see on screen, we have a thickums. She does, she does have a wagon. Let's see what these boys do. All right, who do we have here? Your name, age, and occupation. My name is Ecstasy. I'm 35. I'm a model, a video model, an actress. And presentation, presentation, presentation. It's very important, guys. So here's a thing we always hear about. How you dress has nothing to do with how you are. However, I am 100% against that philosophy. And it's all because the way you feel comfortable to present yourself in public says a lot about you as a person. It speaks to how much, how conservative Oh, libertarian, so to speak, you are. And if you are so liberated to show any and every man who wants to look that amount of skin, then I personally have challenges. Tattoos, yeah. I don't think tattoos are always just for fun. And... Everything you do with your body, everything you put on your body, says something about you as a person. I don't think that's hard to figure out, but let's see how the guys respond to this young lady. I forgot her name already, but let's see what she got. Okay. All right. Love it. Um, what are you looking for here? Um, I'm looking for a man who's definitely like doing something with themselves and having like, this, like kind of like similar to the same occupation I'm doing I, as far as like in the industry of, you know, what I'm doing of like music videos or like videography or whatever. And, um, you know, just doing just a guy doing their thing. That's it. OK. Yeah. All right. Do you do you believe in going 50 50 with your man? Yeah, I do believe that. Okay. I believe doing 50 50. Okay. All right. So 50 50, you go out into bills, dinner, stuff like that? Say again. Like 50 50, we go out into di um, bills, dinner. Bills. Can you give an example? I would say bills, um, dinner, and no, all. Like they're going to do that. But like d bills, as far as like if we're living together, then yeah, like we could do 50 50 on that. Like I don't mind that. I'm not one of those girls that's saying like you got to do everything. No. The 50-50 argument, you know it wouldn't be far. It's going to have to come up at some point. Doing it 50-50. Now, to be honest, in our economy, it's kind of difficult for one man, an average guy, to maintain the lifestyle of him, his wife, and his kids. Once again, this is dependent on the woman that he chooses as well. So if we have a woman that is low maintenance, who is into this for future development of the family, then I may be able to understand. Now, if he, as a man, is able to bring in a certain amount that can maintain his lifestyle that he chooses, that he and his family chooses, then 50-50 may be a stretch because she may not be bringing in the amount that he does. However, the challenge we have is when we hear 50-50, we only, we are single-mindedly think about, thinking about 50-50 in a financial way. There are so many things that that one woman brings to the table that's a lot more important than finances for example if i go out to work and i can come home to a clean house k 
kids are not running all over the place. Kids appreciate daddy when daddy gets home. I can guarantee that while I'm out, there is no man sneaky linking into my house, nor her sneaky linking out. If I find peace and I find that sense of joy seeing my woman, that is more than a 50-50. Because once again, men have certain strengths that women don't have, and women have certain strengths that men don't have. The relationship is to get the strengths of the two parties together and try to work on the weaknesses that they have together. And that is 50-50. But once again, we are so much in a monetized economy, in a monetized state, that everything goes back to the money. But let's see what she has. I think her name was Ecstasy. That says it all. Look, that says it all. Or at least that says a lot. Okay. Wow. Okay. We got some pops for 50-50. All right. Yeah, let's let's pops. see. Let's go ahead and figure out why they pop to their balloons. All right. Can you come in here with me? Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, can you introduce yourself, name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Okay. Luke, 40, Mount Kisco, New York. I do cyber security for the government. Retired military. Okay. And why you popped your balloon? The only reason I popped, I don't believe in 50-50. I believe a woman don't respect a man if he has to go 50-50. So I like to take care of everything. Sure. That's the only reason. Okay. You're beautiful, though. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, you know, she says she's willing to do 50-50, but you never had that conversation to figure out if she's open to you taking 100% of, of the commitment. I kind of believe you lose frame if the woman has to chip in. <laughs> so that's never been my thing. Okay, okay. okay. I respect that. that. No, I respect that. I like that. I like that he said that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. Okay. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. All right. He says something very important just now. He says, in his belief, as a man, you lose frame if a woman has to be pitching in. Basically, what it is saying that deep down, a man knows innately that one of his responsibilities to a woman is to provide for her. Financial provision is my, in majority, the responsibility of man in most, maybe 99, 95% of relationships. And he understands maybe on his lived experiences or maybe on things that he has seen happening before where when a woman has to be using her money to do things that the man should be responsible for, the man loses frame. The woman loses respect for her man because we have to remember in a woman's thinking, your money is her money and her money is her money. So you have to, in some cases, maintain that aspect because check it, there is, if there is a scenario where you as a man slots into a woman's program, that is a detriment to you. As a man, it takes a woman to come onto your program, which means you are a leader. You have a final say in decisions going in important decisions that affect the family long term. And what we have in 2024 is more and more men are going on to women's programs instead of bringing themselves to a point where they can provide adequately for the woman that they choose. But let's keep it going. Let's not talk too much about it. 
Hands up. Um, name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon, please. Jose, uh, 32 years old. I'm a truck driver. Um, basically, I'm going to keep it a bean. First of all, we're going to talk about I'm going to keep it a Her name Ecstasy. So, first of all, we ain't at a strip club on Tuesday night or Saturday night. This ain't. This ain't there you go. It's interesting that at least one person was able to pick that up. You come here looking for a relationship with your stage name. Right? And we know that men are expected to accept women however they are. Your, um, your expectations, your requirements don't really count. Because she is perfect, whatever she does, whoever she does, and however many of them she does. Hashtag ho face. King of Diamonds or none of that, you know, God power to her. I don't like drugs or none of that, but that's just me. I ain't gonna lie to you. You everything you said at the end was great, but when you say you're the video videographer and all that stuff, that shit kind of rubbed me the wrong way, honestly. It's not that, it's not you. I've been in a situation, I've been like around people who deal with industry and stuff like that before. It's just not my speed no more at this older age. Like more, more power to you and I hope everything happened, but it's just not for me. I love everything else about you. The gorgeous, all these things, don't get me wrong. But for me, that's like, at this age, I'm like, she said a video vixen part. As soon as she said that, I immediately thought love and hip hop and I ain't trying to be with Erica Mena. I ain't trying to be Jim Jones. I ain't trying to do none of that. That's just me personally. More power to her. She want to do that and do video things and all that I do, that ain't me personally. You know, I ain't just Blaze. I ain't nobody. I'm just me. Um, I mean, it didn't make me feel a way still because at the end of the day, that's what I do. And like, even if like somebody feel like, oh, I want to, I don't want to take on to my family because you're a video vixen. I'm still an actress and they don't know a lot about me. If you watch my movies on Tubi and Amazon Prime, you'll see more about me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, that's all. I respect so, that. I respect okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any comment regarding to that? That's that's his decision. And I respect it. Apart from that, is he your type? Physically, all that. Yeah, he definitely is. Okay. All right. I mean, apart from that as well, is he your type? She your nah, type? She's. I said she's gorgeous. I'm wrong. You was my type to the T. It's just that that other stuff. When I was younger, you know, you could push it aside and stuff like that and things. But for me, it's like. I'm good where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you very much for coming, man. I appreciate it. Okay, let's move forward. <laughs> All right. Name, occupation, and age, and why you popped your balloon? Name is Teddy, 34, from New Jersey. Um, I work in cybersecurity. She's a beautiful woman, gorgeous, nice eyes, nice teeth. She got it all going on. But the neck tattoos, you know, I got to, when I take you home to mom and dad, it's going to be a lot of drama in the house. You know, I don't want to put you in that position. Come on, brother. Come on, man. This excuse about mom and dad, that's a cop out, my friend. I mean, at the end of the day, how much sway does mom and dad have over your decisions as a grown ass man? What I'm trying to say is come forth and say, I personally do not like ladies with neck tattoos. It rubs me the wrong way. Now when you're coming again and once again, I'm going to have to go back to this apologizing for not liking and worshipping young lady. That don't make it, my brother. Hold your manly frame and stand on what you say, my G. You don't like neck tattoos, neither do I. Full stop. Come on, man. Come on, guys. We're losing. Well, I think you guys are losing. You're, 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 you are missing the plot. Say what you mean, mean what you say. You don't need mommy and daddy's opinion to back up your choices. Be better, brother. 
I mean, I'm Ghanaian, I'm from Africa, you know, we don't really have a lot of tattoos. And if you have tattoos, you gotta be able to hide it. And number one, her name is Ecstasy. Number two, she got neck tattoos. That's a lot going on with one person. So I'm here, I'm marriage minded. I'm looking for a wife. I mean, when he said that, I mean, I respect it because at the end of the day, I mean, he's probably came from a strict family where they don't like, he looked like he's like a military type of guy. So it looked like he don't like all that shit. And oh, sorry, <laughs> but hey, I didn't feel away. That's his preference. You feel me? Uh, I do love her drive. She seems like she's very, very ambitious. And I think that's definitely a turn on. But I got to say no to the neck tattoo. She can have it on her body like myself. But for the neck, I just feel like it's a big no for me. Okay. And I respect your decision. Okay. Thank you. Again, I mean, apart from the neck tattoos, you're saying he's, she's gorgeous. Definitely a per person that, you know, fit everything that you're looking for, right? Yes. Okay. What about, what about you? Do you find him attractive? Is he your type? He's definitely attractive, and I love muscles, so I know you go to the gym, <laughs> and I love the teeth. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. All right. Love it. Let's move forward. Okay, so you, I've seen you pop later on. Um, yeah. Can you introduce yourself, name, age, occupation, and why yeah. you pop later on? So I'm Kenny, and uh, I'm an artist. And uh, the reason why I popped my balloon is because of the age difference. I was going to say it out at first, but coming to hear her talk, you know, to the guys and stuff, I just, I think she's not going to, like, I'm younger for her, so I don't think it's going to work for me. I feel like she'll like older guys and stuff. Okay. Yeah. You think she would like older guys? Yeah. Would you like to figure out if yeah, for she sure. would go for sure. somebody younger? All right. You want to ask her? Yeah. Would you go for somebody younger? I don't mind dating a younger guy. Okay. Well. Now, this young man is an example of a follower. Now, if you have a challenge with her being older, then that balloon should have popped the minute she said her age. However, you waiting until the very last moment to pop, that negates your question about the age being a challenge. And I say this because if you are okay dating older women, keep that balloon. Let her decide that she doesn't go for younger men. Now, once again, you are trying to make a decision for her, which means you really like moms. You like moms, but you don't want to be the last pick. Everybody has popped their balloons and they have made their decisions as to why. You don't have a decision, a manly, foundational decision to stand on as to why you would eliminate this young lady. So you took all that time to make up your mind to find an excuse. However, you would smash. I guarantee you would smash. But let's go, brother Simp. But you pop your balloon. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, apart from, you know, that, is he also your type? Um, a little bit. A little bit, okay. All right, apart from that as well, is she also your type? Sure. Okay, all right. I mean, again, she's your type, but you pop because you thought that yeah. she was, you know, going to go for somebody older and she wouldn't yeah. date somebody younger. Yeah. Do you regret popping now because she said that she would go for somebody younger? Not really. Okay, all right, all right, let's move forward. Okay, all right. Um, name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? What's up? I'm more 27. Uh, my occupation, I do a bunch, a bunch of stuff, so I'm not even going to get into that. But uh, I just bought my balloon because I don't really find you attractive. I do like the tattoos, the, the smile, you got nice teeth, but I just don't really see any type of attraction there. But I mean, you, you seem cool, so we could be friends or something. Uh, okay. All right, what about you? Do you find him attractive? Yeah, he, he right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's all right. No. Gentleman here has a solid foundation for his decision. 
I just don't find her attractive. And, th and that's fine too. You don't find her attractive and we have to be fair. Physical attraction is one of the most important things that men choose for in a partner. Physical attraction. So if she doesn't make you get hard, then it's kind of a no-brainer for anything else going forward. So that's where we are. <laughs> why? Why are you laughing? Nah, it's, that's, I just be laughing a lot. It's, it's a... I feel like you have something to say. You like to share? <laughs> feel free. This is just safe space. I mean, I like how he wasn't attracted to me, but it's cool or whatever. I mean, I'm not. I like a person who got like smooth skin anyway. So like, you know, to have like all the acne and shit. Like, yeah, I have. I'm very, not with that anyway. So it's I cool. Have very sensitive skin. So I mean, I've had acne for a while. I'm trying to clear it up now. And acne scars is gonna be there until yeah, it clear I mean, up. So that's why I'm trying to go out. Why you lot of sugar too? But it's whatever. Mm -hmm. I didn't really care about what she said because I'm confident in my skin. And I know I look good. Like she came in here with a pound of makeup on. We can't even see what she really looks like. It's like stranger danger. Catfish. That was a lot going on on his face. You feel me? Like he had a lot of face acne. So for him to even tell me like I wasn't attractive, I'm like, my guy, did you look in the mirror? You <laughs> mean what you talking about? Okay. All right. Um, it's unfortunate you popped the balloon. Um, let's go ahead and move back. Let's move back. Let's move back. Let's move back. All right. So it's. And what we saw there, gentlemen, is an example of women take no accountability. Women are unable to look within themselves and see past their own egos. If the gentleman says, I am not attracted, I am just not attracted. And once again, many men do not see makeup favorable. Once again, this young lady is under a pound of makeup with every type of extension imaginable. Every type of um, accented artwork on her body imaginable. She is dressed in a way that you are inches away from seeing her underwear. So that leaves an impression on everybody who sees. And when we speak about you shouldn't judge, saying you shouldn't judge is basically saying you shouldn't have an opinion. A lot of people do not understand the difference between having an opinion and a strong opinion as well, as opposed to what we generically call judging people. But let's get going. Ho face. Seem like all the guys have popped their balloon. Um, unfortunately, you weren't able to find your person here, but um, is, are there any last, last remarks that you'd like to leave here? I mean, um, I'm just happy to, you know, be here. Thank you for having me here. And yeah. it's, uh, thanks for, you know, I meet everybody. And that's all right. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fellas, make some noise for her. Woo! Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for coming. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey y'all, so we have great news for you. For those that are single and looking for a relationship,